Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Valgero. Today, we're gonna be taking on the beta boss. I think we'll go ahead and skip the gamma, since we got all the wrecks, and we'll work on the beta, because we need to do the beta to be able to get element to be able to make the replicator and the generator. There's just not enough element in the gamma boss. You only get, I think, 90, and you need 100 at least for the replicator. So I think we'll be fine. We've got a UD I got tamed up, and we have all the wrecks. And I actually hatched three more eggs. So we have a couple more. So that should be just fine for some damage. Hey, how's it going, Logan? So we'll go over here, take a look at our little Rex army real quick. And then we'll get our gear on and start making our way over to the obelisk. So there's the UD. It was a 145, I think, whenever I tamed it. So he's got 45,000 in his health. His stamina is at 5,100. I didn't put stats into anything else. I mainly wanted the stamina and health. That way we can keep boosting. Hey, how's it going, lady? Nice to see everybody show up for the stream. And then these are all of our wrecks. I think there's 16. 16 of them, if I'm not mistaken. And their health is up to about, I think it's like 60,000 on all of them. And then some of them have kind of lower damage than others. Like this one has 741 on the damage. And then there's a couple that have around 800. So it's not too bad. Yeah, the Fluffy Rex. Yeah, they're all right. They're all right. I kind of like the best thing I like about the UD is they fit through a regular dino door. You don't need the behemoth, unlike the Rex. But let's go ahead and grab our armor. I've got everything in a little crate over here, so we can just grab everything and jump in. Vin Diesel versus Rockwell. Oh, dude, that'd be awesome, man. I wonder how much you're going to have of Vin Diesel in Arc 2 when it comes out. That's one thing I'm really, really curious about. I didn't realize that Vin Diesel actually plays Arc all the time. So that was kind of news to me when I heard that. Let's leave our regular gear here. So, I think we have everything that we need. We're taking this box with us this time. That way, whenever we jump on or go into the boss fight, we can leave our bird. I don't know if we're going to go on the dragon or on an Argentavis. Probably just take the dragon. Crowd pot him, leave him in the box, and that way he'll be safe. Hey, Lucas, how's it going, man? Yeah, you're, uh... Your named Rex are still doing fine. You got Ghost, Rio, Bruno, and Junior. Yep, yep, yep. They're all over here. All right, so I think we got enough crowd pods. We do. We got 21. All right, let's get everybody into here. So I don't know how many will fit on the platform. I've never done this many Rex for a boss fight, so I'm hoping we'll be able to get them all. If not, we'll leave the extras in the storage crate with the Wyvern whenever we jump into the fight. Kind of excited, kind of nervous. I think we'll be fine. It should go all right. And then I'm kind of curious about the generator. Or not generator, but the tech replicator. It should fit right here. We'll need to do a little bit of work on the roof, just like we do over the industrial forge there. And I got that thing smelting up some metal. I'm hoping we'll have enough for everything because, dude, I forgot how much metal it costs for the replicator and the generator. All right, hopefully this will go better than the last one. They got a good bit more damage, and then the health is way higher. I think on the Feather Raptors, the health was only like around 7,000. And then damage per bite was only like 121, I think. Will go all right. Famous last words. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> I shouldn't have said nothing. How's it going, Plague Doc? Oh, man, we'll see. We'll see. It should go good, though. I, I think so. I mean, I did this with Terror Birds when I did my first playthrough, and I didn't even use a UD then, so... I mean, we got Rex now, man. I mean, Terror Birds are... They're terrifying in packs. Hey, so I'm using some different encoder settings on my stream software, so if you guys can, let me know if there's any hiccups. It should be a little bit smoother playback and stuff like that, but it's all kind of testing today. So definitely let me know if something's bad with the stream so I can kind of tweak some settings. YouTube's got some different settings out they wanted me to try to use, so we'll see how it goes. But let's start off with the UD. Where's he at? Are they all the same? That's kind of weird. Oh, wait, no, he's down here. Okay, cool. Throw him out to the side over here. Keep you kind of separate, buddy. First try? Oh, yeah, this is the first try. Yep. <laughs> How's it going, man? Yeah, this is, uh, we failed on the Gamma when we took all the Feather Raptors out. So, 
I'm hoping this goes a little bit better with the Rex. The Feather Raptors are just really, really squishy. Let's keep you guys inside as much as we can so that everybody gets teleported. I'm not sure how far they can stick out and still make it. Dude, I would hate it if we teleported in and only got like one or two teams went with us. Everything's tiny, but still love the streams. Ah, oh, appreciate it. Nice, nice. Yeah, Valguero is a very nice map. And then if you guys haven't seen the regular recorded videos, the guy that made this map has actually made that new Viking map. I have no idea how you pronounce it. But we have that going on, so it's got a lot of the good stuff that Valguero has on it. Dude's always hungry or thirsty, man. So definitely check those out. We're kind of getting into where, on that playthrough, where there's some weird portals. So he's got different areas you can go that you got to kind of teleport to. So I don't know. It's kind of weird, man. Kind of neat. Kind of exciting. Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> I can't pronounce it, man. It's got some weird, weird uh, letters next to each other, you know? That's why on all my all my series, man, I always say, hey, you know, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark, and then I say the map name. Uh, not on that one, I just say, welcome back to Modded Ark. It's, it's a lot easier. The cold biome was, uh, you talking about the, just a regular biome, or are you talking about the actual, the cold door that you have to go through? Uh, portal. Because I haven't been really too much to either one on that map. I'll actually be going to the cold biome when we get done with the live stream to record a couple videos for Griffin Taming. Nah, I didn't find a BP for the Rex Saddles. These are all primitive, uh, even on the UD. So yeah, that's kind of got me, got me kind of worried a little bit. Oh, the portal. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's some. Uh, there's some rune stones we gotta find. Don't tell me. Don't tell me how. I kind of wanna figure it out a little bit but yeah apparently we got to find some rune stones and i'm kind of curious what it's going to be to either find those or craft them but i found that portal room on accident it's actually right where we're building our base now dude the tails man holy crap the tails how many more have we got oh dude not sure if they're all gonna fit Hunger for the stream. I <laughs> uh, appreciate it, man. I'm glad you like the streams. It's definitely more interaction than just recording videos, you know? But then on the other side, you guys can actually see how long it takes to get stuff done and ready for recording. I mean, look how many hours we spend on the live streams. And I actually do a lot of stuff off camera for grinding. So, I mean, you know how it is. It's, it's a lot of prep work for recording and stuff. Let's get the UD in there before we can't fit them. Convenient access. Oh, yeah, dude. So I was looking about another platform to build our base on. And then I don't know how we missed it and see it the first time when I was doing flybys and kind of exploring the map. But yeah, it's like right there. Perfect access. And apparently he's supposed to be working on the third portal. So that's kind of, it's going to be interesting to see what he's got going on in there. Let's move you over just a little bit if we can. Oh, you're kind of stuck there. We got two left. Two more. Ah, we might be able to fit him. Let's just throw him in there. You good? Not doing any weird dance? Let's get all of our stuff in here. Well, not the meat, but I mean, whatever. We need to put that down there. Alright, so we do have everything. I I'm always nervous about if I actually have everything for the boss fight on me. And, oh, it's gonna say new right there. Nope. Might have to back them in. Third portal is gonna be a desert. So you got what? You got the cold biome, you got the desert, and then what's the other one? It's kind of green, so does it just like jungle? Let's set this right over here by the waterfall. All right, so we're going to leave him. We'll leave the soul gun as well. 
And we'll leave our tools. And that. Everything else should be fine. Oh, dude, I did not bring any weapons with me. Like a shotgun or anything, because we lost the last one. That's fine. It'll be all right. Cool, so everybody made it. Hey, don't come over here starting problems, man. Let's do passive for sure. All right, let's start this thing before something bad happens. Forest Aberration. Oh, that's cool. Love Aberration, man. I love it and hate it at the same time. So does it cost rune stones to go in and out, or is it just to get into the portals? Hey, Aries. So you're new here, but you like the channel? Awesome. Glad you can make one of the live streams. Just getting ready to do the beta boss. We'll see how this one goes. Alright, looks like we all made it. Fantastic. You are facing the wrong way. Alright, guys, you gotta you gotta give me a little bit of room here. Let's uh let's move you out. So I was told last time he wouldn't land because we had the dragon killed right in the the center. So I think what we'll do this time is let the dragon come to us. And that way we don't have to worry about the mana core not landing. Just in? Okay. Is it a one-time thing, or have you got to do it multiple times? For the rune stones. Alright, dude. Walk over this way a little bit, man. Get out of that center. Ah, okay, okay. Just need them to go in. Alright, that should be good enough. We'll get them all up there. Let's get them all boosted again. Dude, those pterodons are tearing me up, man. Nice, nice. He's melting pretty good. That last pterodon. I did not put any points into his damage, obviously. Every time you want to go back? Oh, man. All right, guys, get a mana core wise down. Nice, nice. A little bit of boost. It's going a little bit better. At least the mana core is on the ground. I don't want to aggro the monkey. We'll let him just sit over there. Now you guys follow me, man. Come over here. Let's get out out into the open a little bit. The dragon, I know, right? He melted pretty quick. All right, all right, all right. Hold tight, hold tight. Let's let the dude land. Did you, did you, did you not hear me? Stay there, buddy. You're all right, you're all right. All right, you got to actually land? Nope. Sneak attack? <laughs> I wish you could up the torpor. On your teams. That way I'm kind of worried about them. Oh, man, the monkey. Worried about them getting knocked out. Let's let him come closer again so that we don't... All right, Minicore, Minicore. Nice. Yeah, he dropped. He, he did. He died pretty quick. I was wanting to do get the mana core, guys. There we go. Keep the boosts up. Yeah, I was wanting to leave the dragon. If we are not the dragon, but the eight. I don't want him to die in the middle and then the mana core not land again. I gotta remember my boosts. Sorry, I might as well take him out. He's kind of out of the way. Man, some of them wrecks are kind of bloody already. Let's 
It's kind of weird how only two of them or three of them are getting the boost. Just because I'm behind that wall or what? There we go. Yeah. Nice. There's two down. All right, guys, back over here. Let's give the give the dude a little bit of room to land. Press C until the buff circle is yellow at all. Oh yeah. Yeah, I always forget to hit the hit the buff, man. I start watching the the boss fight and try not to die, and it's like, oh yeah, I'm on the UD for a reason. There we go. There we go. Nice, man. Nice. Oh, it's going so much better. All right. Let's go back over here, guys. Give them room to land. Well, he's got what? About a third health left? It's not too bad. Third or quarter, something like that. Keep these guys buffed up. That way I can just send him right in whenever he lands. Quarter left. Haven't lost any wrecks yet. Nice. I think we'll be good to do the alpha too. I mean, I have more parts to gather and stuff before we can do that. But I mean, with these wrecks, oh, I hate when he fake lands. He's like, he's coming in. He's like, I'm gonna get you, and then he's like, Ah, oh, nope, just kidding. Nice. Oh, dude, that's even worse when he does that. All right, guys, don't get me all blocked in, man. I don't know if those ones over there are kind of blocking them or not. If I find a BP for the Rexes, you can do it now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of drop runs while I was getting these guys all raised up and all whenever we got done with the last video. And, dude, I just couldn't find anything for any kind of saddles. I keep getting them for the Morella tops, which I don't even think those are on this map. There we go. There we go. Oh, man, he, like, swooped down in. We need to, we need to get these guys over here a little bit more, I think. I think he was trying to land, and we just had too much in the way. Just tamed up some Breeder Rex is looking to get a berry to do some caves. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Watch out for that one caveman in the jungle. Oh, dude, that thing was horrible. All right, you guys hang tight there. Nice, he's on the ground. Oh, man. Get him. Yudi's roaring in frustration. All right, let's move over here to the corner. I can't... Yeah, the... <laughs> yeah, the camels. They're neat, man. It's a neat mechanic with them. All right, guys. Nope, nope, nope. Fake land. False alarm. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's, he's gone, man. He's a goner. Should have stayed airborne. Nice. So, at least we got some element. Got a trophy. You guys did fine. You guys did fine. I don't think anybody died. I think we still got one just kind of... Yep, he's on vacation over here. Nice, man. Nice. Oh, dude, that went so much better than the last one. Let's, uh, let's see which one's over here on vacation. Rudy. Uh-huh. Whose was Rudy? I forget who named that one. Need to have a talk with Rudy afterwards. All right, everybody stop, everybody stop. Calm down. So we got 
255 on the element. Then we got some of our skins. We've got all the flags and all the trophies. We'll have to get some trophy mounts put out as well today. Going to take 20 years to get air cons to hatch Rexes like crazy? Yeah. Oh, man, they take so long. Well, let's get everybody out. Throw them in some crowd pods. Head back to base. I think we need to hop on the Meg and go down into the underwater cave. We need to grab some more black pearls. I think I'm short like 50 or 60 to be able to make the replicator. And then we need to be able to make a tech generator if we can. It's not a not a for sure thing that we need that. But with the S+, Plus, you can use a tech generator to power the replicator. Oh, dude. Well, yep. All right, calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Everybody's going nuts. Let's grab our stuff real quick. Well, at least we made it out with everybody this time. And you get a cryopod, pod, and you get a cryopod. pod. Dude, this gun makes it so easy for getting around areas. Or for, you know, getting the teams and stuff all done. All right, I think we're good here, right? Is that all of them? Nope. Forgot little fuzzy dude over there. So let's throw out our dragon. Yeah, I know, right? Hit the wrong dino for sure. You're gonna come up. Oh, there's another one. You're gonna come up on 16 Rex and a UD and decide to smack one around. <laughs> They're pretty cool little teams, though. It's kind of weird how you gotta slip a beer into their back pocket to get them to pay attention to you and get teamed up, you know? Oh, we're gonna have to re-log here. It's gonna have that weird darkness bug. We'll do that when we get back to base over here. We'll re-log so it's easy to see again. Oh, man, teaming across the map and walking back, dude. It, it's horrible because so much can go wrong in the process. And anything that can go wrong usually does an arc. A ghost for killing the Manicor? Yeah. Is that the one that got the final kill? I didn't see it across the screen. Yeah, cryopods were a very good addition to the game. Not just for helping out with lag, but for moving stuff around. I don't know. In a way, though, it kind of makes the caves... Yeah, caves are a little bit too easy, though, I think, sometimes. Oh, yeah, let's put him up top. Yeah, Broodmother. He, he, I like the cave down there. I hate spiders in real life, but I don't know. It looks pretty neat in that little cave underneath. I hated the, the big eight, man. Oh, he wiped me so bad on Alpha. The damage scales so much between Gamma Beta and then Alpha, you know? All right, tell you what. Let's, uh... Relog real quick. Just because it has that weird darkness bug. Tech cave. Oh, dude, the tech cave, man. I'm, I'm, uh, so disappointed on how the tech cave turned out on my last playthrough. I got all the way down through everything, right? All the creatures. And then my UD decided to take a swim in the lava. And I thought I could hop on them to get them out. But, oh, man, I, I forgot whenever you're on them, you still take damage with the lava, too. We just lost everybody. So it was it was not a good experience. Tell you what, let's leave everybody in here. And I'll deal with them later. Let's leave all the skins. We'll, we'll put those out in a minute. I want to get everything kind of sorted out with what we're going to need for the tech replicator. So let's take a look over here. So we need polymer. That should be easy. We're going to take the chainsaw out. We need 58 of the pearls. Let's grab our stuff and head down below while well, it's still daytime. Where's my scuba stuff at? Did we lose all of our scuba gear? Lots of work to do. You're spooked? Yeah. It's it's a lot of work, man. But as long as it pays out, it's good. You know, it's just as long as you don't lose everything in the process. Hey, how's it going, mix up? The tick or the see the Quetzal, one with the same color pattern a long time ago. Oh, did you lose one, or did you just have it and haven't played that uh, server in a long time? I right, repair that. Cool. Let's take everything and head down below real quick. Like I said, before it gets 
too late in the day. Oh, we want to keep those. We'll leave all that here. We'll leave that. Oh, we're full. That's why he didn't transfer over. Mm, let's grab this. And we'll leave our medical brew. And we'll leave our stimulant. The free DLCs. Are you going to do... Uh, what is it? Lost Island when it comes out? I'm here in the end of November. That's supposed to be releasing. Trade that out. Alright, so we need to put him in a cryopod and run across. We want to... Let's grab a feather raptor. Right, actually, let's take this guy. We haven't been on him. Oh, dude, get some clothes on, man. There we go. Haven't been on him for a minute. Let's put that into damage. Oh, you quitted. Was it on a public server or a single player? Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. I'm really hoping. Kind of curious with the new dinos and stuff that's going to be in Lost Island, you know? New stuff to tame, stuff to do. We'll probably have both series going on at the same time. The uh, new map we're doing now, plus that one. So I just might rotate them. One day we'll do one, then one the other. So it's a private server then? Scorch, Aberration, Extinction, Gen 1, Gen 2. Okay, okay, okay. It's kind of going down the list. See, I started backwards. I started on Valgaro, then I went to... I think we went to Aberration, then Crystal Isles, then Extinction, then Gen 2, then to here, or to uh, the island. Hey, how's it going, Zach? You heard there's going to be a new, larger... Yeah, this, so there's supposed to be, I think, three new creatures, right? So I wonder if you can ride any of them, or the flying one, or is it going to be another shoulder pet? Oh, dude, I did not mean to jump all the way down there. All right, so I think... Is it right over here? I need to put a little pillar out right where the cave is. Oh, you can ride all of them. Interesting. Oh, wait, that's supposed to be the one that's supposed to be like a glider, isn't it? All right, let's leave you here. Let's throw you into here. No jellyfish. Yeah, we're good. All right, get a little bit of scuba gear on. Yeah, there's what, like three monkeys in the game already? Or something like that. You got the shoulder pet. Then you got the big one that you can ride on. All right, where's the cave at? Yeah, it'll be interesting. I'm hoping they really do with Arc 2 is some new new skins for the dinos. Like how the R versions got on Gen 2. Oh, man, those things look so nice. Different color patterns and all. Jellyfish give you nightmares? Dude, I tell you what. Jellyfish are a nightmare when there's like more than one. What I really hate is you'll be doing something, right? Teaming or even munching on some eggs. And you don't know it, but man, the whole time you're doing something, a jellyfish has been like creeping up on you. <laughs> it's like they got a sneak attack. Oh, uh, dude, I had that big problem on the island was I couldn't find any high level berries. So I ended up running a lot of the caves on other things. And then that new map I'm on is kind of weird. It's kind of nice, but everything I'm finding to tame is like super high level, right? 120s to 150. Very, very nice change. Alright, get a little bit of stamina back. There we go. Oh, yeah, I know. I got it out of a drop. So that's a 146 armor on this one, so we should be fine if we come up against a Moza or something. I'm hoping. 
As long as we don't find a squid, we'll be fine. And then, uh, dude, we have to go back down over here, Bob, where the eels are. So we kind of need to avoid that. If possible. There's a leads. These things terrify me, man. They're like big tuna fish. Almost lost everything I owned in our video that went live this morning. Because I put it on a raft to move to a new location and dude got attacked by a leads. Oh, man. Raft ended up being half dead by the time I got done killing it. At least it's daytime now. I think every time we've come down here before, it's been like nighttime. Been real hard to see. Now, let's get our stamina back. We are right at the edge of the tunnel to where it opens up. Want to be able to run if we have to. Just got to watch out for the pleasies. They usually spawn right up around here. One or two of those are fine, but dude, they're like fast, man. You can't really outrun them. Not on a, not on a shark, for sure. So yeah, the goal is to get the S plus take replicator out, and then if we can, I need to see what all we need for, well, let's look in here now. So the generator's gonna need 120 more, so we need to get about 180 pearls if we can. I don't know how much weight that the shark has. Oh, not much. Oh, dude. I didn't look about that. Told my friend tuna can be huge, and he was like, no, they can't. They're in cans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't play Ark, does he? <laughs> Use the lower level dinos to breed in the lower stats like oxygen. Yeah, true, true. I never thought about doing that. There's another leads. Speaking of tuna. Dude, I tamed one of those little... uh. The Diplos that you can use as an air tank? Oh man, I did not realize those were so fast in the water. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, we're only short 56 for the replicator. But I need to get enough for the tech generator, if possible. The tech generator is not a big deal today. But I thought the, I thought the shark had more carry weight than what it does. I have not been paying attention. We need to go over this way. We'll kind of go along the outer side over here. It's somewhat safer. As long as there's no, sh uh, not sharks, but the eels. Hopefully they've respawned. Oh, uh, yep, there's some right here. Oh, you, you went ahead and built the replicator and stuff? Yeah, I was wanting to do the island without doing any tech. Which kind of sucks, but it's nice at the same time. Hmm, so this is going to be interesting. I wonder if... Let's see, let's try to work this out. I don't think we can. So we need 180. Right? So we need a 56. So let's, let's just say 60. So 120. So really 176 should be enough. Oh, we can do it. Wait, is that on me or on him? Ah, uh, dude, we're still overweight. Ah, oh, man, so... Hmm. Let's think about this. Let's just go ahead and drop them. Let's just split it. We just need... Let's take the ones we need for this right now. We can always come back for more. You might remove... Oh, you might remove it. You might keep it. I mean, it'll definitely help out with the tech cave. For sure. Oh, you haven't been playing Ark? Yeah, breaks are good from Ark sometimes. I've kind of cut down how much I've been playing it lately myself. Alright, where's the... I think the exit is back over this way. I like how the lights are in the ceiling. Like that, you can kind of see where stuff's at. No, I haven't seen that, Zach. 
I know they were doing, they were doing, oh, it's an eel! They've been doing quite a few of those last man standings with the different ARC YouTubers. I did not realize we had so many of those eels on us. We're about out of stamina. We can just get them out of render range, we'll be fine. Nice, nice. Cool. Perfect timing. Oh, it's a basil. What level are you, buddy? Level 20. Easiest way to get oil, man, I'm telling you. So don't forget, we'll be starting up on Monday. Probably be doing a live stream on Monday, and we're going to start the procedural generated Primal Fear. So that's going to be kind of something new for us to try out. I have not done procedural arc in quite a few years, and then I have never played with the Primal Fear mod, so i got to look up some stuff on it. But it should be interesting. It'll be a little bit different. At least it'll be a map that people haven't seen because it's, you know, auto-generated. And since there's no bosses on it, the Primal Fear mod should work out because I think it puts roaming bosses into the map. And it'd be kind of neat being on a map where there's like, there's no way to look to see where stuff's at, right? You actually got to explore around, try to find stuff. Yeah, it should be fun. Should be pretty good. Definitely be different. It's another tuna. Or is that the same one that was down here? It's another whale. Another level 20. Get our stamina back. Ah, uh, no, I've heard about it. I've heard about it, Tony. Um, I haven't looked at it yet, but I've heard it's a pretty good map. I think it's still being developed, right? Or is he actually done with it? There's so many maps I want to check out, and I'm trying to not start too many series at once like I usually do. Especially with Lost Island coming out. But it's definitely on my list of stuff to look at. All right, we are almost out of this very, very long tunnel. That's the only thing I really hate about the underwater area, is the tunnel is so long. I know there's that little secret entrance to get up through the middle pillar, but I need to mark it so that I can get back down into it with some uh, stone pillars or something. All right, stop for stamina one last time. Oh, he's not done yet? Only one of the four, uh, four are done? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think he has it up on the Steam Workshop for people to download and check out. I don't actually know what planets on it. Different arcs or planets or... Oh, your birthday's Monday. Ah, well, happy early birthday in case I don't see you. There will be an ARC stream for your birthday, if you're interested. <laughs> well, not for your birthday, just on your birthday, you know. Alright, so we made it out. The other thing I didn't think about is I don't know what the carry weight is on the monkey. So we might have to run up and grab our bird to come down and get our stuff. I'll be able to do it. Let's try it. Ah, uh, it'll be fine. It'll be a slow run. I think it's over here, right? Yeah, there it is. Ramp to go up. You got anything special planned for your birthday? Actually, let's put a little bit into weight. Since he has that point. They say planets on the login screen. Interesting. I wonder if it's going to be kind of like the same thing, how they have the different realms and portals on that map that we're on now on the viking map it's kind of a cool concept it's always nice to have additional areas to go to you know oh dude back up oh we only do 88 damage oh dude 
Yep. <gasps> oh, I didn't mean to throw myself. Wrong button. I need to back up. I thought he did a lot more damage in this. Luckily, they're low level. I mean, level 100. It's not too bad. Good point, so. I don't know, man. I like a lot of the creatures that don't have saddles, but whenever you start fighting stuff, man, you take so much damage without having that armor bonus, you know? Staying home since it's a holiday and that? Yeah. Oh, wait, it is? Like an actual holiday? Yeah, monkey's all right. He got a little beat up, but he's fine, dude. Look at all the raptors around here, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't leave the house myself too much, so it's always nice to stay inside. Ape, not monkey. Ah, he's a, he's a big monkey, man. <laughs> Ape, monkey, kind of, yeah, same thing. Yeah, right, close those. Keep all the raptors out. So let's see, we should have everything else besides a polymer. We'll hop on the bird, grab the chainsaw, and go down and chop up a couple of the dolphins. That should give us plenty. All right, buddy, you just hang tight in here, man. You've had a, <laughs> a little bit of a rough day there. Not the same thing? Yeah. Oh, speaking of monkeys, do they have the tameable ones on this? The little monkeys? What do you want to put up here with our little Jerboa and our feather light? Kind of our little shoulder pet area up there. Alright, so. See how much that we needed. 756, so 800. Should be able to grab that out of the dolphins that are down here. I'm hoping. Oh, I'm really hoping. Is that the best one I have? It is. It's the only one I have. Alright, let's grab some gas. None there. In Argentina, it's a holiday. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wait, that's a... I think that's a holiday everywhere, right? Isn't it the indigenous or aboriginal day or something like that? I'm not too sure. I never keep up with holidays too much. Apes don't have tails. I only come in one size. Large monkeys have tails and come in all sizes. Okay, okay, okay. I had no idea. All right, so you are the one we've been putting all of our speed into. So we'll take him. He's a little bit faster. Is he faster than the dragon? Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, dude, he is zooming. I had no idea there was an actual difference between apes and monkeys. It's annoying <laughs> when people call apes monkeys and monkeys apes. I would be one of those people. People call apes monkeys? Yeah. I kind of I kind of call them both, really. I don't have a specific one that I call one or the other. Don't know if it's a global holiday. I got you. I got you. Dude, can you land somewhere? Is this all considered water? There's a raptor. Are uh, you going to be all right there? I think so. Yeah, I don't know when it comes to ARC, how they actually classify stuff. They do everything a little bit different and weird. I know that. All right, that is a ton of spoiled meat. So how much did we get out of that? I think it was 200, so we need to... Oh, man, we got to chop up quite a few of these little dolphins. We'll go this way, because there's usually two or three down here. If they have respawn, and then the other one is way over there, we'll have to cut across to, probably. All else fails, we'll stop back by, grab some obsidian, and then make a little bit of polymer with some cement paste. What's happening? We just, uh, just beat the beta. And we're trying to gather some stuff so we can make our tech replicator. We just came up from down below in the cave. We had to get some more black pearls. And now, we're just getting some polymer. Trying to find some dolphins. They're a very easy source of the organic polymer. Columbus Day's on Monday? Ah, I got you. Okay. Dude, where are all the dolphins?
Might have a hard time getting all this polymer the easy way. Yep, I don't know. I always had to work on holidays, so never really paid attention to them much, you know? Never really got them off. You guys seeing any dead dolphins around here? I'm just saying I'd like to collect them. Grab a club and beat the penguins. Are there penguins on this map? I mean, I know there's a cold area. I still don't remember ever seeing if there was penguins or where they would be. Because, yeah, you get, like, a lot of polymer from clubbing the baby ones, right? Which is, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a weird concept. But, I mean, hey, whatever works, right? I kind of got shell shocked from dealing with penguins, man. We had a horrible issue with penguins on the island. I decided to tame a bunch of them because I wanted to keep them and make a polymer farm. And, dude, long story short, they ended up attacking me. Don't die, though. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't lose anybody on the... The beta fight, which is awesome. Played any Monster Hunter game? So I got Monster Hunter back when it came out quite a while ago. And it ran so bad, I had to do a refund on Steam. And I just never downloaded it again to try it. I'm not sure if that was before I got a really good computer and it was just my hardware or what. But it was stuttering and lagging so very bad. But it looks interesting. I like the concept of it. I think it was just a regular Monster Hunter, the first one that I tried. I didn't get very far. I tried dealing with the stuttering. I got through the first part to where you kind of get through the tutorial part. And I made it to the first, I guess you call it like a little castle encampment or something. And then that was it. I keep seeing it on sale on Steam, and I keep wanting to get it, but, I mean, I got so much going on right now, it's kind of hard for me to keep up. I guess we're going to have to go all the way down to the other side, check the dolphins over here, and then check the ones down by where we got the bee at. Should be able to get some polymer from those. But yeah, it looks like a cool game, man. I definitely like taming stuff and things like that, and I like the whole... All the weapons and everything that you could see on there. I didn't get too much into them seeing what all there was, but it was a huge variety. I think we need to go... Yeah, directly across. We'll grab some polymer. Or not polymer, but obsidian on the way. Should be top of one of these mountains here. Guessing you're on PC. Did you build your own PC? Uh, yep. I built my own PC. I have a, a Ryzen 3600 processor and a 2070 Super graphics card. I got all that before the whole price jumped up on everything, you know? Oh, man, where are that? Stamina? But yeah, I totally. I always build my own PCs. It's a lot cheaper that way if you know how to. But like right now, I would suggest not building your own because the only way to get a good graphics card is buy one that's pre-built from a company because they kind of like have stock of all of them. Prices are so, so high right now on electronics. Where is all of that obsidian that was over here? Is it right here? No. No. Hmm, I don't know. We'll look for it on the way back. There are penguins in the snow area. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how far that is. We'll take a look and see how much we get out of the dolphin that's usually up here. And then there's two or three over there. And then maybe we'll loop back by the snow area and use a chainsaw on a couple of them. There's a Hesperonis. We could always kill him off too with the chainsaw. A couple of them. What's up, buddy? That's a level 140. There's a little bit. Nice, nice. These guys are not friendly. Let's change this over real quick. There we go. It's on the wrong key.
So there's a little bit more. That's not too bad. Dude, I did not see that spino there. Could have gone horrible. Uh-huh. Now he's going to follow me. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, but it works. I run everything with my stream. I do everything on one PC for recording and streaming, so it's, uh, it's not top of the line, but it definitely works very, very well. Monster Hunter, sadly, the closest you are to taming a monster is when you ride them. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got to choose whether you want to kill it or capture it. That's what it was. I knew it was something along those lines. That's what got me really interested in it, why I ended up downloading it and trying it the first time. I like how they got choices on stuff like that, you know, kind of kind of changes the way that you play. All right, please, damn, there's a dolphin or two over here. There's usually two of them on the beach. All I see is two turtles, or one turtle. Ah, dude. Well, we got one more spot to look, and then we'll head up to the snow area. All right, let's go this way. Hey, yo, Fufu, how's it going, man? Alienware R12. I'll have to look that up. I'm not sure exactly which one that is with Alienware. They got pretty good stuff for gaming, though. They've come a long way from whenever they very first started to what they offer now for pre-builds. Cyber Power is another one that's fairly well, I think, for pre-built PCs. They're really good if they ship it to you and something happens in transit or something's damaged whenever you receive it, getting new stuff out to you or a fixed one like ASAP, from what I've heard. Get a little bit of stamina just in case. That should do. Ah, oh, it's so nice having the Argentavis fly a little bit faster than normal. So let's see, we need to be going that direction just right over this ridge should be the next set of dolphins hopefully the dolphins and not the turtles again seems like it's kind of 50 50 what's going to spawn on the beaches i think we'll just get the replicator set up for today and then maybe later we'll do the generator because we're going to need more black pearls so we'll have to go dip back down below, but then we're going to need a lot more polymer. I need to do some obsidian farming. Definitely need to get some obsidian. Alright, let's see what we got over here. Two or three dolphins it should be just enough. And then, yeah, it's like right out over here, kind of in the bay. There's another little opening that goes all the way down into... The underground area. It's a little bit quicker than swimming down the tunnel. I know that. Oh, that's right. Yeah, getting everything down there in a different country is kind of hard, huh? Getting everything shipped down there and whatnot. Because they have a quite the price hike on parts, right? For import fees. Check this drop while we're right here. Iguanodon saddle, okay. Alright, what do we got over here? Nothing. Man, where is all the dolphins? Alright, well, let's head over towards the cold area. <laughs> it's a lot more flying around than I thought we were going to be doing just for some polymer. So let's see, we'll just go right up into here and then kind of loop around. Oh, you know what? I think I do remember where there's dolphins. It's kind of by... Well, I think it's just right up here, isn't it? That By that little lake and kind of the little ice area? Hopefully. Hopefully that is. Grab some obsidian, too, if we see it. Keep your eyes out. Let me know if, you, if we pass any. I'm also curious how Arc 2 is going to run. What the requirements for PC is going to be. Because it's supposed to be running on the next gen consoles. 
So they should up the requirements for PC as well, right? Being able to put more stuff in since the consoles can handle more. Oh, they put more fees on imports? Oh, dude. That is not good at all. Yeah, you have to get one from, uh, get a pre-built from a company that'll kind of cover all those for you. I don't know if anybody will. Yeah, the lake with the ice floating on top. Isn't that... Isn't that this one that's like right in front of us, I think? Or is it the one that's probably over there? That's alright, we'll hit up both of them. I never played up here in the snow too much, man. The Udys, oh dude, I cannot deal with them. Those in the wolves. But I think this is the one... Nope, this is not it. Okay, well, let's lay in here and get some stamina while we're safe. Safe-ish. I mean, we're never safe, you know. So, let's see. Next one is gonna be... Over that way. Kind of at the middle of the map between here and the Skylord pin. Sorry, we'll get some altitude and fly high, too. Easier to see that lake from up top. At all these trees. Yeah, I tried building a... One of the tree stands and one of the redwoods. <laughs> it was a horrible experience. If you want to buy a game, you got to pay the final price plus 64%. Oh, dude, they charge that for, for games as well, even if you download them? I didn't realize it was that high of fees for even digital content, you know? Ooh, obsidian. Nice, nice. Let's grab some of this. Just in case we don't find any more polymer. We can at least make some mega base. Plus, we need it too for trophies and all that other stuff. So let's just leave all this into him. Give him a little bit of food. I think I want to grab some crystal. I know we need like 200 or so. I think we have some at base, but I just want to make sure that we don't need to leave out for anything else once we get there. So that's 195. I think it was 250 for the replicator. So that should be good enough. Let's drop all this. So let's leave that saddle. We're not going to tame one. We kind of need the storage weight anyways. We are almost full as it is. I'd rather have obsidian than crystal. Crystal's easy to come by. For all the digital buyers in Argentina, it's like that. Ah, oh, dude, that sucks, man. I never really thought about import fees for other countries, because I've only been to the U.S. and Canada, really, for, like, living. And there's not really an import tax in Canada. So never had to really deal with it, you know? Alright, that is enough obsidian... What's the ratio for obsidian? Well, we need 750, so we need to get some more. We just need to find that lake with the penguins. Which should be up here. That's the only other lake I know of. And the only other one that's really showing on the map. It's what, 2 to 1 ratio on... Polymer, if you make it. Yeah, it is. Two to one. So that'd be enough for... 200. Or 100. And I think we only got like 200 out of that dolphin. I don't know. Maybe some more dolphins spawn too. Alright, so here's that other little lake. Hey, Nico, how's it going, man? Both the before inflation got worse two years ago. Yeah, it's been about two years, isn't it? And this is not the other lake I was thinking of. Oh, dude. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where the other area is that the penguins might be. That's all right. We'll head back towards base. Unless it's the ones that are over there. I don't think either one of those lakes have them. 
We can check. For Australia, if you buy anything American, you easily double the price. Minus the other fees and postage. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's uh, that's not good at all. Dude, I'd, I'd have a hard time because as many games as I buy and download, <laughs> I'd be going broke. Ah, uh, glad you liked the videos, Nico. Hmm. I don't know, unless maybe my pin is in the way. Like, back over that way. That's alright, let's check the beaches one last time. We'll kind of head back to base that way. Maybe one is spawned in or so. And then we'll just have to make up some polymer the old-fashioned way. Use obsidian and go out for another run on obsidian. It'll be alright. There's that one area back by base in the trees there. I just need to find where it's at. It has a, quite a bit of obsidian. I mean, all we need is that or two more dolphins, you know? Alright, so here's the beach. All right. Nope, we're still up on the waterfall. Down a little bit further. Oh, we're out of stamina. I really got to watch that, man. All the raptors around. Kind of weird. We don't have anything coming for us. <laughs> Normally, you hit the ground, man. Everything in the world wants to come for you. All right, there we go. All right, buddy. Shake and bake, man. Top center of the map. Ah, oh, probably can't see it because my fingers being there, huh? Well, what do you want to do? You want to head back up there, or do you want to head down and check the beaches again? We're gonna head back up. We're only like a little ways down from it. It's closer to go to there than it is to the beaches, you know. Even though the beaches are heading towards base, I'll just do that. We'll check up here because we need so much of it, you know. Yeah, Rex is over there taking a swim. I've still been checking the other areas for another Giga to tame, but I haven't seen anything, man, in any of the spawn points. There's only three spawn points. Oh, but I did find some on the new map we're playing on. Dude, so there's some of the R Gigas from Genesis 2. Right by where I was thinking about building base. Needless to say, we are not building base there, but... Kind of need to see one. It was a high level. It was a level 145 as well. So we'll be taming him for sure coming up soon. Still got to get base sorted out and everything on that map since we moved. Get all of our crafting tables out and stuff like that. That way we can start harvesting stuff a little bit easier and making up stuff for taming. Because we are doing a griffin tame here soon. And oh man, I cannot wait to have another griffin. Kind of avoid him, please. All right, let's get a little bit of altitude, see if we can see a lake around here. So there's one there. I don't know if you can see it. That's probably the one we were thinking of, huh? Okay, well, let's get some stamina before we go too far. And then, yeah, that, that's probably the one. I think we just overlooked it because his fingers are in the way. Yep, right there up in the middle. So how much have we got? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16. Almost 270. We need 700, so we need to kill quite a few of the penguins, depending on how much we get from each one with the chainsaw. Kind of makes me wish I kept that 400% chainsaw that I trashed a couple days ago whenever I was doing drop runs. Yeah, here we go. This is the one I was thinking of. There's a lot of bad stuff around here, though. Holy crap. 
No penguins? Yep, here they are. Wolves, let's grab the wolf, kill him off. I don't want them killing the penguins. Oh, they're killing the penguins. Dude, what level is this wolf? Holy crap. One fifty, no kidding, man. Dude, leave my penguins alone. Little buddies. I'll protect you. And then I'll kill you. Can we not grab him, please? Oh, we're out of stamina. I'll tell you what, let's get some stamina. Oh, what's up, man? There's some up here too. That waterfall is so loud. Let's put this into damage. Yeah, you guys hang tight there, man. I'm coming back for you. Let me save the rest of your family down here from these wolves real quick. All right, so he's stuck in the water, which is good. I got you, buddy. Don't worry. If I can pick this wolf up, I'm having a really hard time grabbing things. Dude, I just want to grab the wolf man. <laughs> he's like, he's running in a circle. He's going to kill that penguin, man. Ah, dude. It's alright, he gets in the water. He should be able to swim away. Well, all the wolves are in there now. Well, we're safe. Alright. Is there any left that the wolves did not kill off? I don't see any. Dude, that sucks. We actually found the area. And now the wolf killed off everything. Sorry, buddy. So 30 for each one. Okay, okay, okay. I know, Junior. It's all right. Oh, oh dude. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was a wolf coming for me. Yep, I know. Yep, yep, yep. Where did Penguin go? Did he glitch through the rock? Is there any more? There's one. Can we get up here? We are not going to have nearly enough. Dude, would you get out of my face, please? All right. So. We did not get very much at all. Oh, man. I was expecting more to be up here, but the wolves kind of killed off all of them, you know? Check over here. I don't know if there's any on the sides. There's a lot of wolves down in there. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Dude, there's like nine wolves down in there, man. That is a very bad day. Yep, there's penguins. Oh, let's grab them. Little buddy. I got you, man. Don't worry. You just hang tight there, man. Don't cause problems. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna have to kill a lot of these penguins. We're snow cubing, which is not good. Or ice cubing, I mean. Uh. 
See any more of them? I don't know how long it takes for them to start respawning. Is that one there? It is. There's a Yudi there. Oh, dude! No! Well, at least we got on the bird before it decided to take off. Three more places for the penguins. Yeah, I think we might end up having to go and just do... Check for the other dolphins here in a minute. I mean, we got 400. And then 500. So we only need like 200 more. But then we got to make paste up too, right? Is that a penguin or is that a bag? That's a bag. Dude, the grind for polymer is real right now. All right, let's do one more pass over here. Then we're going to head out and check the beaches. Go back, throw what we can in, and then see from there. I don't know if any is actually up here. There's not. Weird. You figured they'd be up here too, you know? You guys see any little penguins around? You know, cute little fuzzy guys? Waddle everywhere they go? I didn't think so. Alright, let's head back towards base. We're kinda, kinda heavy on weight and everything anyways. If we spend too much time, it's all gonna just kinda spoil in our inventory, so... Well, that was interesting for sure. If we would've gotten... taken out by that Yudi. <laughs> Would have been a little bit sad, man. We are so far away from everything if we died, you know? Or if the bird would have left without us. If he would have left without us, would have turned him into Rex Kibble. Just saying, that's what would have happened. Alright, so we need to head towards that way. We'll just do a loop around the beach again. Uh, kind of like going towards back towards base. Yeah, I thought for some reason that was a lot closer to, to base, not right up in the middle there. Hey, how's it going, Andrew? Yep, we uh, we beat the beta and didn't lose any wrecks. I ended up taking in, I think it was 16. I went ahead and hatched three more after we recorded the last video, so we went in with 16 plus a, a UD. And now we're just collecting polymers so that we can build a tech replicator. Yeah, I think I'm going to skip the penguins right now. They just don't give too much polymer for the time that it takes to find them and kill them. And there's usually wolves around. Oh, dude, stamina. So we're short about 300 on the polymer. And then we'll be able to make our replicator. I was going to farm a lot of that up before streaming. But, dude, it took forever to get those Rexes all set and ready for the boss fight. Alright, that's good enough. Make sure we're still going the right direction, which we are not. Spinal down in there just chilling, man. So there's supposed to be the Halloween event coming up soon. Kind of curious what they have going on this year for that. I think Monday they're supposed to... Announce some stuff for that. Nope, I did like I said, we waited for the- wait. Oh yeah, no, we waited uh, up on a platform. We got the dragon to come almost up to the steps. And then we also killed the ape kind of off to the side. And the mana core didn't have any problems landing. I mean, there was a couple times where he kind of flew down. And then as soon as the rex went for him, he flew back up. But it was, uh, it was fairly easy this time. Nothing like last time. So that's definitely what the issue was last time. It was just no place for the manacore to land. Say, well, let's chop up this one to get it off the beach.
Let's drop all that for weight reasons. Yep, yep, none here either. Ah, oh, dude. Alright, checked in the last place before we go back to base. Yeah, so the Rex have... They got around 60,000 on their health. And then roughly 7... 780 to 800% on their damage. So they do about 550 to 600 per bite. Didn't lose any, but there was a couple that were beat up pretty bad. And then the thing is, too, they all got primitive saddles. I couldn't find a blueprint for high-level ones. So it's not too bad, I don't think, for doing the beta with having just primitive saddles on all of them. Yeah, it was nice. I was I was really hoping to beat this one because on Monday we're going to start that new playthrough. So I was kind of wanting to at least get a boss fight done, you know? Plus all that breeding and everything we did. Oh, dude. Would have been so nice. So those last three that I bred, I just left them inside the base for the nanny to take care of. So the three that have like the eight or 900% on the damage are the ones that got 100% imprint. And dude, that, that S plus nanny, oh man, does it make things so easy. I mean, once you get it all built and set up, you know. That is a bright looking parasaur, or did look bright for a minute. Alright, last pass. We'll loop around. Oh, there's another Alpha Meg down there. What level are you? 25, very low level. Check over here first. Well, I was gonna go for that red drop, but I guess that's not a thing. Yeah, not enough time left for these things to respawn, I don't think. Grab some stamina. Oh, dude, I hate flying around looking for stuff. Dude, would you land? There you go. Must be all considered water. That has more raptors. It's alright, man. Y'all stay over there. Aw, oh, come on, dude. I almost had enough stamina. Alright, so those are turtles. Hey, Eagle, how's it going, man? Nice of you to drop by the stream. We're just looking for a little bit of polymer so we can build us a tech replicator. Boy, I tell you what, you want me to go to the aberration area so the crabs can kill us? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> uh, dude. Oh, I hate dealing with the crabs, but that is a very, very good source of polymer. And I tell you what, we'll do that. So if we can't find the two dolphins we need, which it doesn't look like they're going to be here, We'll take a Feather Raptor and go down to the crab. Hopefully they've spawned in. That's the one thing I'd be worried about is if they haven't spawned in. But, dude, you get so much polymer. I totally forgot about those. Yep, and I don't see any more dolphins. Upgrade station. Is that an S-plus thing? Oh, it's a mod? Uh, I don't have that mod. Oh, uh, we're out of stamina. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to look into it. Is that the one where you can take regular blueprints and you put in a bunch of materials and it upgrades it to, the, like, the next level and stuff? All right, buddy, get your stamina back. Grab some feather raptors and go down to the aberration area. Probably take a Rex with us too. Feather Raptor to run down there on because they're kind of fast. 
And then a Rex in case we get into a bad spot with the crabs. Yeah, I did quite a few drop runs while I was waiting for the Rex to finish getting leveled up and everything. I just couldn't find anything in the way of saddles or blueprints other than the Morella tops. All right, let's drop this dude off. I think we'll go over on the dragon. He's a little bit flas faster flying. Actually, let's put this guy inside since he has so much stuff on him. All right, let's leave you there. Let's grab a little bit of food, a little bit of water. And a couple teams. I don't want that. You can hold on to that. Let's leave our scuba gear here as well. All right, so let's see. Let's take... I think you're the right one, right? Yep. Tell you what, let's take the aloe instead. The Rex are kind of beat up. Or the sloth. Aloe? Sloth? Let's take the aloe. That should be good enough. Oh, we need one of the Argentavis for bringing everything back. Well, it'll fit on the, the dragon. It'll be fine. Yeah, that's why I'm taking the aloe. I was going to take a Rex with this, but I'll just take the aloe. I think it'll be fine. Oh, we got a take Ketzel egg. A little bit of scrambled eggs for breakfast. That's one of the best looking eggs, I think, in the game. Really like the way they look. All right. Let's try this again. Have a TP down there? Yeah, that's why I can't wait to get some of this stuff built up. What do we need for the... Teleporter. I mean, it's fairly cheap, really. But you need a generator down there? Yeah. That's what we'll end up having to do whenever we start playing this map again is put some of the teleporters around. Put one there and then make an underwater base area and put one down there for sure. That way we don't have to go through that whole long tunnel of trying to, uh, to go down there and get stuff. Mainly for, like, black pearls and whatnot. Because you can teleport through there with resources and everything too, right? It doesn't drop everything like a bed does. Alright, let's go to this side so we don't get kicked off like usual. No spinals around. Fantastic. Oh, can you put that in the S plus one? Oh, dude, I had no idea. I would definitely put one of those at base in and get rid of ours. Alright, buddy. Hang tight in there. Let's get our Feather Raptor out. For a quick rundown. That's one of the things I like on that new map that we're on, the Viking map. So they've got their own... Eco's got some Viking mods. And I've been using those. And dude, one of his uh, preserving bins. Man, it holds everything for so long. I think like Honey lasts like eight or nine hours in there. And the same with Polymer. So it lasts a super long time, and it doesn't require any spark powder to run it. I think there's like 100 or 150 slots in it as well. Definitely makes it nice for gathering stuff, you know? Then you can actually gather it as you're passing by instead of having to go out for it all the time. Because it actually stores. I'm thinking about changing my stack sizes in the game files. And making it to where polymer will stack to 100 and then prime meat for uh, the raw prime meat for like 20 or 30 a stack. Good luck down there. Yeah, boy, I tell you what. <laughs> I just hope we see some of the crabs. 
That's the one thing that sucks is whenever stuff doesn't actually spawn down here. But I mean, we could... Oh, you know what? Man. Should have brought the hazmat suit. We could have gone down into the... The radiation area. I know there's crabs down there. There's that alpha one, you know? But there should be some down in the water. It's like the tech transmitter. Okay. So let's head down this way first. We'll do one quick loop. And if we don't see any, then we'll just have to make it the old-fashioned way. Yep, don't worry about the scorpions. Y'all stay away. So I think we need to go all the way down, right? Isn't it in the bottom by the water? Yep, there's a crab there. There's two of them. Alright, well, hmm, that was easy. Let's put you down here and you up there and then you down here. Alright, buddy, let's uh let's try not to die here, okay? It's Definitely preferred. What is that? Is that a Rex? Is that a Spino? Oh, dude, I thought he was glitching to the rock. Oh, that's a horrible start. Interesting. Lamp race. And they're not in the water. Something is really buggy down here with the water. I did not know those were on this map. That'll can use those instead of a radiation suit. All right, guys, give me all of your polymer, please. Only got 33 from that one. I thought you usually get a couple hundred from each one. Oh, you know what? I need to use a chainsaw to harvest them. There we go. All right. Yeah, tell you what, we got enough now. Well, <laughs> let's go make us a tech replicator. See you down there, Barry. Just because. Let's get up here, we'll throw the Feather Raptor back out, and then we will hopefully be able to run out on him. I didn't think about the weight being an issue. Yeah, I know, I didn't think about not eating them. It was a slight miscalculation on my part. Alright, let's leave all the chitin. And we'll leave the meat. What's our weight at? Oh, we're mm. What is going on? Oh, is that the lamp rays? Buddy, 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 I need you to calm down. I need you to take it easy. How much weight have we got on this guy? 342, okay, let's drop the leech blood. Nice! Well, we've got all that we need. Plus a little bit. Oh, dude, yep, cooperate here. Oh, I'm not the best climber. Obviously, neither is he. Ugh, fantastic. Oh, dude. <laughs> Dropped your phone. That's not never a good thing. Didn't crack the screen, did it? So those beehives actually have bees in them. We decided to tame bees again. I think we'll come down here instead of trying to do it up top because that's fairly close to the ground. Should be able to put foundations in a ceiling and that'll kind of block it all off. Yeah, I totally forgot about chainsawing them instead of using the the aloe to bite them. We're a little overweight, but at least we're still moving. I know, right, dude? He chooses violence every day. Like, even when he's on passive, he still goes for stuff. I had problems with that wolf I tamed over on... On the new Viking map, dude, he was like, 
He didn't want nothing to do with violence. It's like, I was sitting there getting my face ripped off by a raptor, and he did everything in the world to run from it and from me. I couldn't get on him. <laughs> I couldn't catch up to him. I even whistled for him to attack. Nope, he didn't want nothing to do with it. It's like, it's all right, man. See how it is. <laughs> That's why I went ahead and tamed a Thyla. Oh, man, I'm so glad we got all the polymer we need and we don't have to worry about making it up in the fabricator. You guys, we still got... We, we would have had to make a lot of cement paste because I don't think I have very much left, if I remember right. The beaver dams have not been respawning. Either that or I'm just clearing them out too quick. Oh, dude, on that new map, too, I also found a unicorn. It's like a level 135 unicorn. So I definitely need to get some stuff together to be able to... Oh, dude, it's a Microraptor! To be able to tame it. Don't stop, man, there's a Microraptor behind us. Screen didn't crack because you're sitting in a chair. Oh, okay, good. Still sucks when you drop it, though. Oh, man. It's like the worst feeling. Especially while you were trying to grab it to pick it up. It's like, oh man, hopefully it didn't break. Now we just ran out of stamina. That's good timing. All right. Back on the dragon. What do you got in there? Ah, uh, we'll just take it. It'll be fine. Nice. So we'll have us our S plus replicator. Plus we got the boss fight done. Not too bad of a day. Dude, I hate the aberrant raptors, man. These things are horrible. That that pounce that they do is like the worst addition ever to the game. Because whenever they first put it in, it wasn't just on aberration. They did it to all raptors, right? And I remember I was on... That's before my YouTube days. I think I was on Ragnarok playing, and I got pounced off of a Rex by a, by one of the Raptors, like the first day the update came out. I was like, man, you have got to be kidding me. But then they toned it down to where it was only the aberrant ones, and it's still kind of... It's definitely not needed, man. <laughs> Raptors are a pain anyways, right? Let alone them pouncing you off. I do, however, like how the aberrant ones have a different mechanic than the normal ones. I wish they would have done that with all the aberrant creatures. Give them all a weird trait that the normal versions don't have. I think that'd be pretty cool. Kind of like how they did the the X versions of stuff on Genesis 1 and the R versions on Gen 2. So X, the X version, what? It's got, once you tame it, it's got lower, lower damage and all that stuff. And then I think the R versions... Take more damage or something like that? Forget what it is. Regardless, it's kind of neat how the different versions have different stuff, different stats. So, hopefully, this is everything that we need. Use a non S plus teleporter. Looks better with the design. It also looks good inside the base. S plus is hard to search for because it's like a pull. Oh yeah, I just saw that. So it's like yeah, it doesn't have the whole base. I thought it used to have it, right? Did they change it at one point? Because it used to be like this, but very small, like a lot smaller. X and R variants are stronger than the base. Oh, okay. I knew it was something weird because there, there are two different stats on them or something than the normal ones. So. What are we missing? Nothing. Fantastic. Repulsor play. What is that? Is that like the little jump pad that's on Genesis 1 or whatever? Nice. Let's get the Argentavis all out of the way. Nobody has saddles, right? Fantastic. All right, let's just crowd everybody into here. I'll have to sort this out eventually.
have to keep track which ones are the ones that we did breeding on, which ones didn't. I mean, you can look at their stats, but, I mean, the colors on them are all, <laughs> all identical. All right, one more time. There we go. Got to check. All of our metal should be smelted up, too. X are the best in defense. They take less damage. The R gives more damage. Okay, that's what it was. I knew it was something weird with them. Oh, dude, is that going to clip? Should be fine. Let's see. So that's that's sticking out. So I'm guessing like right there. Let's be quick so we can pick it up. So we're good there. We're good there. We're good there. I kind of want to move it over a little bit because I was gonna put some tech storage here. Let's let's pick it up and move it just a little bit. I know it's going to be a little off center, but I mean, it'll be fine. There's enough room. Do we want to put tech storage right there? The reason I was going to is that way, when I get overloaded, I can just take it and put it right into it, you know? But I think I like it better kind of centered. Let's just center it. We can work with storage later. Or not center, but you know, closer to, closer to the middle. One more time. I know, I know. This is this is what takes me forever to do. This is what I cut out of recordings all the time. I think that is the exact place I put it last time. It's fine. We're going to leave it. It will be fine. So let's see. What do we have left over for crystal? Plenty. Not a problem. Let's do a little bit of renovation. So we're going to make these into like a skylight. That way it's not clipping through. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. And we'll get rid of this. Oh, do not get rid of that. Holy crap. We'll put this downstairs for right now. We'll have that tech generator before too long. And then we can put up turrets on here for the whole wyvern issue. So we're going to need to build some glass. Let's just put this in here for the moment. Alright, so... I don't remember how I did this on... Valgaro last time. I think what I needed to do was... Get rid of you. not that one let's not talk about it <laughs> it happens and get rid of you all right so those three probably have to do one more which I didn't want to do but we're gonna have to oh, boy, I tell you what Again, this is the stuff that gets cut out of recordings because it happens a lot. I'll tell you what if I, <laughs> I would have fell. Oh, dude. All right, that one. And I think we're just going to do the whole ceiling. Just do the whole thing. So what we'll do is, we're going to fall again, and let's start making some of the glass. We're going to do the whole thing as just a big glass, kind of, we'll do a slope, one slope up, 
the last across and one slope down and then do the sides in and that should make it to where it's tall enough so we'll probably need one two three four five maybe six of these I know I know Lucas don't talk to me man <laughs> it's yeah like I said live stream versus real life our um, recordings we're gonna need some of the slope right and left what are we missing oh I gotta wait for that to finish crafting so that's the one thing I don't like about the pull right is it searches what's in the inventory and then it doesn't take into account what's already building so like I can't pull for these because it still thinks that we have enough in there even though those are already being used for that kind of weird I mean while we're waiting let's clean our inventory out that way all this stuff is out of there and we need to throw the megalodon somewhere We'll just put you in here for now, buddy. Alright, so those are those and those. Are we out of resources? No, nope, one more. All right, let's start with that. We'll see how far that gets us, and then we'll go from there. He is, man. He's bullying me bad. <laughs> if your railings are S+, you can make them half walls. Yeah, I don't have these as S+. I think I started this build before we started doing the S+. Plus. Let's pull one of these. Well, let's just do the regular. It'll be fine. I think it's funny whenever some people watch my videos that's never seen them. And they're like, oh, you must be new to Ark. It's like, no, nah, I've really been playing for about four or five years. I just, it's, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> it happens, dude. All right, so that should be fine. Put up a couple of these. Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. And we'll put up some of these. So that somebody doesn't fall. We'll do this all the way across and we'll put glass on the top and that should be good. If you have that strider. Aberration and lots of metal nodes. Oh, dude, I know, right? So the, uh, the strider, I mean, I was, I was, that's what I was thinking about whenever I started playing with them on Genesis 2 was all the metal farming you do like an aberration oh man strider would be so nice i like the striders but dude mine kept getting bugged out it's like i took him out into space to do some element farming and then he kept coming back in and he was still floating like he was in space had that happen twice had to get rid of both of them oh you got 1600 hours i think i'm sitting at just at 2000 hours I had uh, quite a few years I didn't play Ark. I played it in 2015, I think it was, when it first came out. And then I stopped playing it for a while. And then I started up YouTube, and um, Ark was one of the main things I was doing. I was doing Red Dead and Ark. You can definitely spend a lot of hours in it, I can tell you that. But 2019, that was what? Whenever... Was that Scorched Earth what came out around then? Dude, we're gonna have a problem here. I need to... I need to get rid of these. <gasps> no! I thought maybe I could walk on them. Hmm. Well, that's gonna be interesting. I'll have to do some scaffolding out on the side. Messed up building? Yeah. It was, uh... It was kind of neat 
and I hated it at the same time doing vanilla arc because the building sucks. But then at the same time, there's like a lot of tricks you can learn with how stuff places. Let's do do five of these. We'll use this as a scaffolding out along the side. How many friends do I have now? What you mean, like in arc or out of arc? All right, so. Put you there. You guys there. I don't know if I can jump back over. Yep, we can make it. Out of Arc or in general? I don't know. I've never really thought of keeping track of them. More than one less than a thousand, I guess? <laughs> Two. Two, four, six, eight. Ten. So ten of the regular ceilings, and that'll kind of complete our little skylight there. Hopefully. We'll have to see. I think I built too many of the... Ah, oh, not too much more. Just two extra of each. Ah, uh, it's gonna be nice, though. A little lot, lot of uh, light in. Kind of keeps the heat out from the furnace, you know? Kind of, Kind of goes right up. Radiates out. What was it? Six that we needed? Oh, dude, we're at a paste in crystal. Well, let's, um... Oh, we got 34. Interesting. Hmm. Let's go grab a couple things. Get rid of these, get a little bit of stuff back. Can these not clip up top? Where I can access them? There we go. It's not going to be enough, but it'll give us a little bit more. And we'll just drop those. We don't need those anymore. Alright, so let's go on the Feather Raptor. Think we needed more keratin or something, right? Take a look and see what we're out of. Oh, we got keratin. We need some stone. Why did it not pull any? Oh, we did. Good enough for 10. Oh, I need some gas. Got gas on me. I need to make the S plus one so that we don't need the the gas to run it. That might make enough. Let's go ahead and actually go out on the Argentavis and grab some crystal. See, you got 644. 700. Let's grab this one. We'll go out on him. I didn't mean to consume it, meant to drop it. Who has a saddle? Ah, uh, dude, I really need to get all these guys sorted out. Such a mess in there. Alright, one more supply run. And we should be good. Let's put this into... That? So what's the closest place for crystal? I think there was some on the mountains over here. I don't know behind us where there's any. I don't want to go searching over there. But there should be some up around this way. Oh, you can uh, soul ball a strider. Interesting. Dude, because that's what kind of sucked was I was trying to use the cryopod to reset the bug with the strider. But you can't cryopod him. So it was like he was just there floating stuck, right? Hmm. That's kind of neat, though. So you can pretty much use the soul balls on everything then, right? What if you can use it on the Titans? 
that would make it a lot easier on Extinction trying to get those guys around places because, oh my gosh, the route that you have to take for, like, the Forest Titan to go from down below all the way up to the the Alpha Titan platform, dude, that is such a long walk, oh my gosh. I think it took me about two hours real time off camera trying to get him up there for the boss fight. Or two or three hours, something like that. It took an absurd amount of time. All while trying not to kill him. Or myself. Alright, so we just need a couple hundred crystal. If a guy can just find a little bit of crystal. Just saying. We'll go over here on this little mountain ridge. It should be enough. Thousand views before I hit one million views. Oh, dude, I have not even paid attention to that. It's been a uh, been a long road to get a million views, you know. Holy crap, dude. That's pretty cool, though. We should hit that by the end of the day, then. Is there no crystal up here? It's usually a small little pack of it. And how's it going, Broken Skull? Glad you stopped by the stream. So we went ahead and did the boss fight today. We did the beta. And actually uh, beat him. And then we were working on the tech replicator stuff. And that is an Alpha Rex. Level 50. I didn't bring anything on me to kill him with. I think our aloe might, might actually die doing that. He's not really leveled up too much. I hear you down there, Micro Raptor. I need to get some stamina, speaking of those things. Should come back with the... the Wyvern and take out that Alpha. Should have brought him with me, really. Alright, that's enough. It's enough stamina. Now, we got some up here. There's, obsi there's the obsidian I was looking for. And now I don't want to grab it, though, because I want to... <laughs> I want to get the polymer. Or not the polymer, but the crystal. Alright, ridge number two. I'll tell you what, it's been a very intensive resource harvesting day today. I'm just saying. And we still need to put out our trophies and flags. We'll do that as soon as we get that roof done. Oh, here it is. Nice. I knew there was some more around, dude. If I would have left my tools back at base, would have ended the stream. Hopefully this will be enough here. We only need, I think it was six of those, right? Try to get his last one. Yep, there we go. Nice, back to base we go. We'll have to see. Hopefully we have enough stuff for the cement paste for making the trophies. We need to make three trophies, and that's 300 of the cement paste. Almost at a million views, which is awesome. Yeah, man, it is. That's a lot of people, if you think about it, watching your videos. It's kind of weird, so I've been doing YouTube since 2019, almost at a million views, and then on TikTok, I've got one of my videos has got like 1.5 million views, so it's like, I don't know, it's weird how the algorithms are different between the two platforms, you know? But it's also kind of nice that they're both different, you kind of different people from both areas. Quite a few people I've funneled in from TikTok over to YouTube. Hopefully we can make it all the way on this one little thing of stamina without having to stop again. Yeah, you're one of them. Yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing your posts. What? Probably the beginning of the year? 
was over on TikTok. It was one of my, I think it was a Capro video from whenever I was on um, uh, Scorched Earth. Didn't want to try on the Titan. <laughs> uh, it might work, though. If they have it enabled for everything, that would be pretty cool. But, I mean, I'd hate to do that and then lose it, you know? Have something glitch out to where it lets you do it, but then it disappears or kind of goes poof, you know? Or resets the stats or whatever on it. That's what I'm always worried about. Right, so, the last couple things that we need. What are we, are we in the fabricator? Well, I tell you what. I wonder why there's a gas mask in the smithy. I think it was six. I'm hoping that's all it was. Hey, Lucas, man. Glad you stopped by. And if I don't see you before Monday, happy early birthday. Glad you enjoyed the stream. All right. Let's see if that's enough. I don't remember if it was six or eight that we needed. It's eight. That's ten. Oh, dude, I'll tell you what. Two, four. We need four more. If I have to, man, I'll break down my greenhouse just to do it. Then you realize you can like this music comedy more and... Oh, nice, nice, yeah. Well, you know, glad you like the clips for sure. And back then, I was never even thinking about streaming, you know. Oh, we got enough. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about streaming back then. I was just trying to make videos. And actually, on the 23rd of this month is my two years on YouTube. Two years, almost a thousand videos, or maybe over a thousand videos. I'll have to see. Oh, man, I'm so glad that's done. I think it looks not too bad, man. It's kind of like a little skylight, you know? And then adds in enough room for the replicator and the forge. Let's light in two as well, right? Yeah. Nice, nice. I like it. Glad it's done with. Holy crap, I'm glad it's done with. So, let's grab some stuff. Where did I put the flags and everything? They in the box? They are. So we need some trophies. Two. We're missing 19 paste. We should be able to build that. Let's um, check over here. There is a cave-like area under the waterfall, which has loads of crystal. Are you talking about the one that's over... At the far left side of the map. Because that cave is fantastic. You found your channel from TikTok too? Oh, okay, okay. Man, that's quite a few of you guys in from TikTok came over. So let's see. I don't have any... Wait, what are we missing? We've got plenty of chitin. We just don't have stone. Let's try to do... Can I do 10? We just need stone. Alright, let's go out and get some stone. Shouldn't be that hard. I might have some actually in the dodic still. Nope. Totally empty. Yeah, I almost didn't start uploading clips till, to TikTok. Whenever it came out, I was uh, extremely against it. I just didn't want to do another another service, you know? I just wanted to do everything on YouTube, but then YouTube Shorts also rolled around, so it's kind of the same format, so I can post two things from just making one video, so it made it kind of easy. 
And then, oh my gosh, the amount of views and followers on there came very, very fast. Hey, how's it going? You don't speak English? So, one good part about that, I'm not sure how much you'll, you, you understand, but I do have subtitles for different languages after the video's over. What language do you speak? You spectate? Okay. That's fine. There is no requirement to talk. As long as you enjoy the video. So we'll do this last little one here. That should be enough for what we're doing today. I'll come down and get some more crystal and stuff later. Or not crystal, but stone. Dude's got another level up too. Alright, buddy. Come on. We got stuff to do, man. Gotta get some trophies out. And now he's out of stamina. Boy, I tell you what. I should put the automatic doors on here, too. Keep forgetting that they changed so that you can actually steer with the Dodic. Remember back in the day, man, it's like wherever you're pointing, that's where you were going, and that's it. Have a legend for a video. Glad you enjoyed the videos. It's much appreciated. So let's see. Let's leave him. Twenty-five. Nice. He did funny shorts on Dodix? I'll have to look. So we just need one more. They're cool, but man, the little stubby legs, it uh, it really hinders him. No offense. I don't mean to offend you. It's not your fault. It's just the way you're built. So here's what I was thinking with the trophies and the flags. So we put the trophies here on the wall. Yeah, that's way too high. That's all right. We'll just, um, well, it's going to stay there is what it's going to do. All right, let's build some scaffolding. To a sloped one. Then we should be able to get up to it. Yep, we have S+. Plus. I just put S+, plus on this map, um, maybe one video ago? Or two videos ago? I used to play it with no mods. Oh, we can't pick it up. Oh, man, I don't want to demolish it. I'm going to. i have to make another one. So we should be able to do it centered like that one, and then we should be able to reach it still here. Alright, so what do we want to do on the top? Maybe the mana core? And then we'll do... The dragon? Actually, he should be on the top, right? Dragon, mana core, then the ape? Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Ramps too hard to position. Uh, yeah, I was just using them for scaffolding so that I could get those up. They're kind of hard to to get on there sometimes. Nice. It's a little a little weird with the monkey, but it'll be fine. And then whenever we get the other ones done, we can do Alpha on one side and Gamma on the other. We'll have all nine of the trophies. And then let's do this one here. 
Actually, let's move it forward a little bit so it's behind or in front of the the torch. I can't. It's wanting to clip. What is that clipping to? I don't know. It's clipping to something. That's fine. We'll leave it like that. I almost ate the mushroom. Nice, man. Nice. Well, that is everything set up. We've got our replicator, and we've got the skylight built. We've got all of our teams. Didn't lose anybody. I don't think that was too bad of a day. But we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Next video will probably be the new one, right? The procedural with the Primal Fear mod. As long as I can get all that worked out, and as long as I can get it to... Um... To work correctly otherwise we'll come back to valgaro and do some more stuff here but we're going to leave this one here hope everybody enjoyed the video and i appreciate everybody stopping by the stream as always thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one